Hello guys, Max Geckos here, and uh, this is just going to be a channel introduction. Uh, it's mainly going to be on leopard geckos and breeding leopard geckos. And uh, I may do some videos on my 55 gallon peacock cichlid tank. And I do breed them, and I have convicts. Uh, my millworm colony. And I have crickets outside also. So uh, I'm just going to run through most of my animals and let this be a channel introduction so here's my racks is some it's uh the racks are perfectly fine fine uh if anything they're bigger than what and uh, what most breeders would use so yeah uh i don't have a waxworm colony just yet i'm planning on making one so i've just got two little containers with waxworms with sawdust and oats and stuff mixed in and yeah uh here is cleo my normal high yellow she is a breeder female uh i'm just gonna run through the tanks don't worry about all that she makes she's due to lay any day now and yeah in today's cleaning day anyway so uh she stays in her lay box and i'm not gonna get her out considering she's gravid and she's due to lay any second so yeah, uh, that's clear. We're gonna leave her alone, let her do what she needs to do. And here is Blaze, he is not a breeder. I hatched him around, uh, I wanna say September of last year. And he's doing really, really great. He's a super hypo tangerine full carrot tail. Uh, here he is. I'll I'll push him out. He he is a little skittish. I'm not gonna deny it. And he he doesn't like to be handled. But there he is. He's probably around 20, 30 grams. Uh, nice fat tail. So yeah, uh, that's him. And here's Phoenix. I hatched her out uh, not long ago, actually. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you the exact date, but it was probably a couple weeks ago. And she's just a normal tangerine. She is a beautiful gecko, though. The light, this camera is not really going to show much of it, but she's really pretty. And she's really tame, actually, for especially to be just a baby. So, uh, let's put her back. She's doing good. And here's the rest of my breeders over here. Here's Blondie, the super hypo tangerine carrot tail baldy. She does, she is regenerating her tail. Uh, look, I bought her when she had no tail. It was like... A reptile expo. I'm not gonna pick her up. She's really mean. She's she's real fat and she's probably around 60 grams. Oh, and Phoenix, the baby I showed you right there, she's probably around 15 by now. Oops, sorry about that. I just kicked something. And here's Aries. If you focus. Here is my super hypo tangerine carrot tail breeder. He is a breeder. He is probably him and Blondie are probably the best eaters I have. Uh, he's really they are. Uh, he's around 60, 70 grams. He's a really nice gecko. He's really tame. I can, I can just pick him up and he'll just sit in your hand. And so yeah, we're gonna put him back and move on to my last gecko, which is Zeus. He is another breeder. I'm not gonna breed him anytime soon until he fattens up because he does have problems eating. Um, I actually do have suspicions that he has a Nigma syndrome. 
And if he does, I'm definitely not going to breed him, but I will keep him. He's real tame also. Uh, I mean, he, he weighs fine. It's just he doesn't eat. I don't know if it's just a seasonal thing with him or I don't know, but he's got calcium all over his feet from where he messed up his calcium bowl and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, now as we come right here, I'm not going to go into detail. There's my mealworm beetles, babies, adults, and God, my window's open. Uh, sorry, guys, about the bad lighting. There's a a, a peacock. It's a it's a male peacock. Uh, let me find him. There's a male convict. Sorry, guys, about the shakiness. And there's a female convict. And they did breed. They had this baby. These babies right here. You probably won't be able to see any. Uh, let me see if I can. They're a couple months old now. There's one. Uh, you can't see it, barely. It would focus. Yeah, it's not going to focus, but... Yeah, you, you probably know what convict babies look like. And there's a sick fish right there. I'm just going to let it be. Because it's probably, I mean, it's to the point where I can do nothing for it. Like, it's, I've treated it and all that, and it's just... There's another male convict. Uh... There's a OB peacock. He's my biggest fish in the tank. And they they are not full grown and I will be getting new fish and stuff. And I'm actually thinking about changing this tank from just a cichlid breeder. I'm thinking about making it a real nice planted tank and getting angel fish and guppies and stuff. And yeah, guys, uh, this is going to conclude my first video. This is the channel introduction for Max Geckos. So, uh, sorry about the messy setup, it's just, it wasn't the best day to record, but you know how it is. Alright, well, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a terrible outro. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Uh, I should be posting at least once a week. Uh, maybe more. But yeah, guys, I will see you next time.